story time about fear. So we got to be brave. And we got to be a Batman, a Robin Hood, and a, a Superman. And not, not for we on that. Just get our hero of heroes to stand up tall for us. He's our love of the ages. He'll do a better job fighting our battles for us anyways. So let his mercy go before us and say hi to Minnie because it's a small world after all. And it's a world of joy and it's a world of tears. And it's a, world, a good world and it's a bad world. And it's time for the restoration of all things to come. And Minnie and Mickey are just always so excited. And she is. She just want to jump for joy all the time. I have a hard time getting these guys to settle down. They just can never get enough of story time. So I hope you enjoy this gospel about fear. And fear is totally in our brains for the most part. Um, you know, there's nothing to fear except fear itself. I think it was John F. Kennedy said that, and so true. And our fear are all born on uh, some stinky winds of uh, ignorance that we just don't understand God's love for us. So pull on up a seat and come on down for story time. I got lots of good stories, especially about love. and. Uh, and never forget to have big ears like Mickey and Minnie because the bigger your ears, the better to hear me with because he has sent a writer, as Deuteronomy 18.18 18 said. Uh, I'm a covenant writer. I've written a creation gospel called the Everlasting, uh, the Manifested Everlasting Gospel of Revelation 14. Punch that in. It's the very first video I did under uh, this video. <laughs> and uh, so uh, arise in love. For these are the time of some really interesting conclusions about fear. And the gospel of fear must die. And let it not die hard. If we understand love, our fears will be settled once and for all. And we can move ahead. And for that reason, the Lord has banished Satan for 1,000 years in accordance with his word of Daniel 12. Simply for the reason, because I am the covenant messenger of Malachi 3.1. And as I've given the kingdom age covenant of Jeremiah to all mankind, as it's correctly uh, addressed to Israel and all mankind, Jeremiah 32.27, Jesus has never been uh, the God of Christians. He's always been the Lord of all mankind. And this has been veiled throughout the centuries. And for that reason, the everlasting gospel I've written must go again with John the Beloved's words that those who love are born of God and know God because God is love. And for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten love. So whosoever would love would uh, not perish but have everlasting life, everlasting love. Because as you're walking with love light on, you're walking with the Spirit and you are under absolutely no condemnation no matter what you believe. Our beliefs have always been and our doctrines as filthy rags, absolutely useless because His love has transcended all. He is the sower of the seeds of love and He, is, he has overtaken His reaper of the harvest and the harvest is now because I bring forth the sickle of love. And um, it is written in the latter days, uh, Isaiah 2, that mankind shall beat their swords of the Spirit into uh, sickles, uh, plowshares for the harvest. And the harvest is on, and I am the harvester with not much to do. So I'll just make a bunch of story times because uh, I don't got to try to get people to believe nothing because nothing they could believe will save them. Only thing that does save them is keep their love light on. Many people have never been born again. They've never needed to be because their love light always stayed on. And if you need to be born again, I suggest you let your love light flame on like Johnny Torch. That's born again. Jesus said you can't even define born again. Um, it's as the wind, you don't know where it goes. But he did say, but you gotta be as little children. So grab your Mickey and your Minnie and follow me. And be a good uh, Mickey and Minnie kind of a guy because we all got to be as little children to let our love flow. Because uh, when we're little kids, all of us love, all of us. But then we get older and then we get bitter and then we get angry and then we get bent by this and mentally ill by that. And so it's, it's time to get back to our roots, our roots when we were children, our roots when we were innocent, our roots when 
be loved unconditionally as he loves us. And he has never changed, but we stop loving the same way. We start putting conditions on our love. No conditions on love anymore, people. We can't love those whom we can see. We cannot love the who we cannot. We've all been hypocrites at times, and I'm the first to admit it. So, praise the Lord, the end of spiritual racism is necessary because all black lives matter, and all white lives, and red lives, and green ones, if there were some green ones mixed in the crowd, all lives matter. And uh, so know this, the fear is only the God of those who shall relentlessly be attacking this, these words of um, the gospel of the Holy Ghost that's coming through me. Daniel 12 times, the word of God opening again. Their religion is tainted, their faith is tattered, their tanks are on empty. Exceedingly ashamed shall Allah be of them. He'll still love them, but he'll be ashamed of their ignorance. For uh, as it is written, people are destroyed for their lack of knowledge. And for those, uh, religion shall continually be in vain. Compromise shall be their only escape. And great shall be the shaking all around them. For judgment must always start with the house of God and with his very own people, who are all people. But for those that claim they know him, especially much more so. So truth rewards the oneness of uh, truth. So please understand that anyone truly loving God for himself will also love all that is from him, including the following message, um, the, the meaning and the flaming spiritual word of these holy videos. These words within these videos are holy because it lifts up love. And uh, uh, it's a flaming word that can't scorch anything aside from some real bitter consciences and some pretty uh, hard hearts. It's time for hard hearts to soften. For the fire of the word of love, uh, it, it can't consume anything except for wanting hearts that want to, to be on fire. Such will never again, such people will never again fear the hellish, all-consuming fires of the very worst flames of hell. Uh, that were once burning greedily, ever so brightly for them. Uh, there's been a, a, a come up and, and uh, things have been settled, and uh, it's on our side. Satan has been removed. That is huge, people. And if you believe the word of God, you will believe me because it is written, it is predicted. And never forget the first are last and the last are first. Our shining is greater than the angels. And that's why we shall judge, sit in judgment over them in a time to come. So let all men count the cost of service. For all those wanting to, uh, to be victors need to think about the price that they must pay for salvation. For some strong human passions must be subdued for the Lord's approval. And people's wills must be brought into captivity if they want uh, a prosperous, prosperous life. Many people will be saved by the skin of their teeth, not living good lives, good moral lives. And they'll, if they keep their love light on, they're just going to make it. And they'll, they'll be in the slums of heaven. But if you want to have a really good life, you do need to walk away of, of morality and honor and uh, be an upright person for as uh, it's got no bearing on our salvation as long as we keep our love light on but if you want uh, the very best mansions with the very best furnishings you walk a good road uh, we will be rewarded for such but uh, he loves all people the same absolutely all he loves the prostitute and the alcoholic and the atheist and the satanist all the same and all the ooze Hindus or uh, isms or Sikhism or Satanism or all he loves everybody the same and he his word he's a respecter of no man which means equality uh, before us all is what we have and it was hidden by uh, the mystery of God from Revelation 10 7 that is now over so therefore Jesus now de desires that his brethren would try to see that they are not their own. Um, 
uh, nor shall anyone find no temptations to re re resist, since everyone has to battle against their very own sinfulness that always taunts them. We are not our own, but yet we can be the captain of our own ship because there's nothing more that we need to know about the Lord. He invites ignorance. In his Kingdom Age covenant, he says in Jeremiah 31, 35, And now no one shall need to be taught of me anymore, for the least, from the least to the greatest, and everyone in between, everybody, everybody, everybody in between, um, all shall know me, even if it's like stupid fish knowing that they're in water giving them life, because his love flows through us, and that is the light of love that keeps us going. So the definition of hypocrisy, people, is one saying, I love God, but then showing hatred towards his iconic passion uh, that his dove of love is now bringing. There's going to be many haters of me. They're going to think I'm the biggest devil that's ever lived because uh, they're haters, <laughs> religious haters. And uh, the, the truth is, uh, because I'm connecting everything by prophecy, line upon line, precept upon precept, and explaining it all so that it's understandable. Uh, they won't have the the haters of the world, the religious bigots and racists out there. They will not have no root nor branch to left to keep them up. Because uh, in standing against me, they oppose the kingdom age, love, and peace that Christ is sending. And they oppose all prophecy in the Bible. They don't believe no prophecy, so they need to rip one-third of the Bible out of the Bible. All the prophetic word that was only given to mankind to make the future and to bless us and to bring good things to pass. So every follower of the Lord God must walk in faith while avoiding hypocrisy for such a pure uh, abomination unto him. He'll love us anyways. Just keep your love light on and we're secure. Security of the believer for the first time in history is guaranteed. End of story. Story time's over. <laughs> but one thing's for sure, it doesn't matter. Um, and uh, hypocrisy is the homage that vice pays to virtue. And going to a mosque or a church or a temple doesn't make anyone a Muslim, a Christian, or a Jew any more than standing in a garage makes them a car. And uh, so welcome to the Gospel of C.S. Lewis. That is his words, C.S. Lewis. And uh, it's time for us to realize that if good fruit isn't removed from a bowl, uh, that has rotten fruit inside it, it too will go bad. So it's time that the wheat and the tares shall no longer grow together, as the Lord said. So uh, no more shall people uh, gazing into the midst of the true beliefs of uh, all mainstream religions do so in vain. For the days of unbelievers trying to draw water from a mirage is over. Because the prophesied truth of he that is the steadfast one, the truthful Lord, has now come forth. And he's come forth to wipe away all the remnants of utter nonsense. Know ye not that the life of this world is but the comfort of illusion? Know ye therefore that whoever obeys the messenger of this latter-day message of God is obeying he that is the absolute, the holy, and the alive. So it's time to stand up against ignorance. But understand, O oh, lovers of the Virgin Mary, uh, that the very last sentence of the chapter of the Daniel's book, the book of Daniel, strongly stressed that the prophetic spirit of Daniel would arise again at that end time. Hello. So it's time to take a stand against ignorance. And uh, all I know is that Mickey and Minnie, they always love these story times, and I hope you guys are liking them too, because I could never give away one of my books. No one ever wanted to listen to me, but I got the story straight, straight from the Lord. He had me riding by a lamp one time that was never plugged in for seven, eight minutes, way far away from the plug. I demanded it. Uh, I wanted a fleece-wet, ground-dry like Gideon's miracle. And... Uh, 
because uh, I was told, hey, this is you in the Bible, Isaiah 49, you're the arrow of the white horseman who has the longbow. But understand, oh, people of, of love, that uh, the latter-day Daniel, who is covered thereby, is but a messenger. That's all I am. Jeremiah is the prophet, and uh, his word is sacrosanct <laughs> and sacred. And uh, he had it right. And everything that I'm saying is in accordance with what is written. It says what I say is saying. And the likes of whom have passed away before him. So let the just souls of earth come to see that our Lord of the universe has never raised up a prophet, nor has he sent down a book divine, until he has first established his covenant with all men through his prophets. And it has been established, and now it has been the unveiling. In order to save this earth from total oblivion. Matthew 24, 22. The great white cloud is here, and uh, one will be left, one will be taken, within a split moment of a moment, as they recognize truth coming through the lips of Elijah. And those believing me will instantly rapture and have their hearts adjoined with Christ on the clouds, as they realize that it's always been only about love alone as their own love light soars and inflames and becomes like a climax of fireworks. For these are the days of the climax of history. So it's time to celebrate people. So hearken now, O oh, oh, followers of that Lord of Honesty, for as his unashamed living truth now arises, all of the curses of any satanic utterances must vanish back unto hell from whence it came, because our Lord of love is the glorious, the resplendent one, who allows not darkness to prosper around him. And it's time to stand still and, and behold the magnificence of our majesty of majesties and the splendor of his love that comes forth on that great white cloud for all of mankind, so he can pour out his spirit upon all flesh, as the prophet Joel foretold. And so let all the disobedient uh, who damn this word of the ages, come to understand that the Lord's best end time promise, uh, which is these writings of Habakkuk 2.2, 2, so that we would let our eyes run through it, the vision, and let our ears run through it, if ears can run. Uh, so that uh, uh, the, to do away with the blackest clouds of disbelief, to grow darkness, the black clouds, because Christ only comes on a glorious white, great white cloud, and now have the uh, brightest rays of his beaming Son of Holiness finally risen high as uh, he faithfully promised for a rainbow of peace. And time shall prove that such an elusive kind of peace shall now enter into unforeseen days of brotherly love between Christians, Muslims, and their Jewish brothers and sisters as well. It's the season uh, of harvest that brings much peace. Therefore, it's finally the long-awaited season of the most blessed periods when every believer of, of our Lord's prophetic word of truth shall have to disregard, uh, dis, uh, discard garments of falsehoods that have been cluttering up their closets uh, to uh, mess up their minds <laughs> and their thoughts. For such a dead, uh, desolate... Uh, for such desolate robes of many damnable lies have been put upon faithless believers by themselves as they unknowingly become some deceived servants of earth's darkest gross darkness. And it shall be made very clear that such victims of their own deceptions had foolishly let themselves to be swept up within their insane hopes that no further inspirations from above could ever possibly come forth to another messenger. For such religious souls, hatred over any new uh, mouthpiece of God, they're opposed it because it would edify God. It would ed edify and uh, fearing members of mankind bend down and run away and they point fingers at anything that is new. <laughs> Even though God said he was going to do a new thing. Well, here it is. 
And uh, so it's time to extol all of humanity, to lift up his name, names, and uh, their voice of love unto him. And I, Daniel F. Owsley, am the Lord's end-time apostle to the Muslims, the Jews, and to all of those of all supposedly false religions. But all religions are false. Only the religion of love is true. Because the religion of love transcends everything, all doctrine, all imagination. All the kingdoms of man shall now be pulled down. Jeremiah 1.10 and Haggai 2.2 2 said so. And uh, so, arise and shine. And to those ignorant of this gospel of love, they'll commonly imagine that it's a threat to God's word instead of being a passage, a passionate message of love, which is a praised, filled continuation of the word of God thereof, prophesied within all of the prophets of the Old Testament. So let this chain, this be a chain letter video of our uh, Lord that should never be broken. And it's time for new revelation. It's time for the restitution of all things. The holy dominion of earth's returning Messiah shall come forth during the great restitution of all things, says the Lord. I am Elohim, Ada, Allah, Adonai. I am Isa, Yeshua, Jesus. He is the carpenter of the ages. And he says, I am the restorer, the re refuge, and the rewarder of recompense. As promised in Revelation 11:15, all kingdoms of the earth have become mine by his living word, Isa, Yeshua, Jesus, my Christ, who I am, one with, says Jehovah Nisi, the banner of love over all of us. No more shall the world remain a prison for those of love, since I am he who shall swiftly renew all things as the earth enters into the eye of my greatest storm of storms that is now being echoed by my seven thunders and that were not written of the transition of falsehoods into truths that shall sweep over the earth as a wild fire of true utter holiness and then the world shall transform in ways that they cannot be imagined since the walls of all false religions shall soon begin falling like dominoes Whosoever condemns the brightness of this gospel, I shall spew them out of my mouth, saith the Lord, for all are haters and have no love light left on if they can oppose Daniel of Windsor. For by their choice to embrace ignorance, they bow unto the remnant of uh, Satan left behind, who loves all stupidity and uh, that has been his greatest platform while he was around. So thank God we can get ahead now without that uh, snake of Eden to do us harm. So love from love, people. Hope from hope. These are exciting days. And story time is getting really good. I like story time. So welcome to this gospel of C.S. Lewis for believing... Uh, it's like the garage uh, quote that he had. Uh, you know, just going to a temple or a mosque doesn't uh, make us into anything. It's like a, a car in a garage. If you're in a garage, it doesn't make you a car either. So love from love. And uh, you can take one thing to the bank. The very last word is the greatest word that's ever been uttered. And that word is capital L-O-V-E. And... That is his name, love, his purest name. Be not afraid of love. He loves us and he forgives us. And with that, I am Elijah and that is the end of the